In this tutorial we will have a look at how to draw a very simple cross section. In this case we have two driving lanes of 3.5 meters. We have a roof profile with a slope of 25 per mil. And also we have the different layers of the pavement structure. So to get started we will just draw the different border lines. So just select the line. and. Let's say we want to have a length of 4 meters. Right click to finish the command. And now I want to make a copy of this line. So go up and select copy. Specify the line and then type in a distance of 3.5 meters. And again 3.5 meters for the next borderline. And then right click to finish the command. The next step is to add the different layers of the pavement structure. So we will select the line and snap to the center line. And in this case we have a slope of 25 per mil. So if we draw a line of 1 meter in the horizontal direction, then we need to draw a vertical line of 25 millimeters or 0 0.025 meters and if we then connect the bottom point of the vertical line with the center line in such a case we have a line with the correct slope and now we can just delete the two help lines so the next step is to extend the line and we can do this using the trim to element then select the line that we want to trim or extend and select the border line now we can see from the bottom left that we can either accept or we can reject the line and in this case we want to accept so we will left click and now we have a line of 3.5 meters with the correct slope of the pavement structure. The next step is to copy the line so we will have the correct thicknesses for the pavement. So we will select copy, select the line and in this case we have the surface layer of 30 millimeters or 0 0.03 we have the next layer of 60 millimeters, 0 0.06. The third layer of 150 millimeters, 0 0.15, and then the last one of 250 millimeters. Now right click to finish, and now we just want to modify the edge. So we will just draw a line with a with an angle of 45 degrees. And in this case, it doesn't matter so much for the length of this line right here, but we just want to make sure that we have an angle of 45 degrees or minus 135. Then we can right click and again use the tool to extend or to trim the, the elements and we want to extend these elements to this borderline right here accept it and now we want to trim this line to the bottom line of the pavement structure the last part is to mirror the structure so we will have it on the right side as well so we will just select the surface and in this case we can use mirror and in this case we want to make sure that we have marked we want to make a copy and also we want to mirror it along the vertical line select the center line and then right click to finish